News breaking overnight in Wyoming. Republican Liz Cheney concedes her congressional seat race to her Trump-backed opponent, Harriet Hageman. Now, the race is widely seen as a test of former President Trump's stronghold on the Republican Party. Now, that's despite two impeachments and multiple criminal investigations against the former president. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington with the latest. Good morning. Congresswoman Liz Cheney is now the eighth congressional Republican out of 10 who have lost their primary races after voting to impeach former President Donald Trump. This morning, Congresswoman Liz Cheney, defiant after Wyoming GOP voters overwhelmingly rejected her bid for a fourth term in Congress. No House seat, no office in this land is more important than the principles that we are all sworn to protect. Cheney's loss to Trump-backed candidate Harriet Hageman, widely seen as the result of her harsh criticism of former President Donald Trump. The Congresswoman constantly pushing back on Trump's conspiracy theories and then joining the House Select Committee as vice chair to investigate the January 6th U.S. Capitol attack. Her defeat, the latest show of former President Trump's political weight among Republicans. This primary election is over, but now the real work begins. Trump, who has been committed to Cheney's defeat, overnight celebrating her loss on his social media page. Cheney telling her supporters, I will do whatever it takes to ensure Donald Trump is never again anywhere near the Oval Office. The Congresswoman even hinting at a new chapter ahead. I suspect she's preparing to run for president potentially in 2024 and a thorn in the side of former President Trump. And another Trump target, Lisa Murkowski from Alaska, is also in a tough battle to keep her Senate seat after voting to convict Trump during the impeachment trial. With polls now closed in Alaska, she is expected to survive at least the primary portion of her race. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.